Welcome, my friends, to another exciting lecture in statistics. Once more, we shall drink from the nectar of the gods. This little exciting discussion is about standard deviation and variance. And of course, there are two terms to know. They are obviously standard deviation. First, standard deviation as a definition can be determined from reading the words. Deviation means different. Standard means standard difference. The standard deviation is the average distance of data from the mean. The variance is the square of the standard deviation. Before you despair, please allow me to explain. Let's start with this idea. Standard deviation and variance are the same things looked at from different perspectives. For example, if we take 3 squared and say it equals 9, 3 could be the standard deviation. 9 could be the variance, which is the square of the standard deviation. 4 squared equals 16. Again, 4 would represent the standard deviation, 16 the variance. 5 squared equals 25. Again, 5 would represent the standard deviation, and 25 the variance. We're going to begin our journey once we have these terms down. Standard deviation and variance, again, are the same things. Standard deviation is the average distance from the mean of the data from the mean, and variance is the square of the standard deviation. What is the standard deviation really, and how might it be explained? It's really cool to say that it's, give a nerdy definition of it, but let's see if we can represent it graphically. Here we have five ducks. They're little ducks, they're tall ducks, and they're short ducks. We're going to look at the height of these ducks, and we notice that these ducks have an average height. Since we're representing these five ducks as a population, our average would be mu. Now, in order to calculate standard deviation, which is the average distance from the average, or the average distance from the mean, or the average distance from mu, we must examine distances from mu, and then we would take these distances and we would have to average those distances because the, the standard deviation is the average distance of the data from the mean. Let's average these data. We'll take all five of them. We discover that these distances have length and we average them and that average is represented by the line and is represented there on the right by that little symbol. That length is the average of the distances from the average, which means it is the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the average distance from the mean. Now, sigma, lowercase sigma, which is this little a circle with a, a leg on it, is the standard deviation of the population. Just as mu represents the mean of the population, lowercase sigma represents the standard deviation of the population. S is the standard deviation of the sample. So we will go on to the formulas. The formulas for standard deviation look onerous, but if you remember what you discovered in reading the formulas for the mean, these really aren't that bad. Sigma which is the standard deviation of the population, is equal to the sum of all of these values from the first one to the last one, where the values are the individual datum subtracted from the mean and converted to absolute value. In other words, this is the sum of all the distances, and we use absolute value because distances are always positive. But the sum of the absolute, the distances, the absolute value of the distances, all added together, divided by n minus 1. Now we divide by n minus 1 rather than n because we just simply want to overestimate the standard deviation just barely. And I want you to think of this in terms of paying your bills on a monthly basis. Wouldn't you like to prefer to overlook, overestimate next month's expenses than to underestimate them? If you overestimate, you have a little money left. If you underestimate, you may have to borrow the money from your mother-in-law. 
So think about that. We divide by n minus 1. The standard deviation of the sample is as a very similar formula. It is s equals the sum of all of these values from the first to the last, where the value is, de is defined to be the individual datum subtracted from the mean. We take the absolute value to make it positive and divide by n minus 1. The only difference is that in the population, we use capital N and capital X, and in the sample, we use lowercase n and lowercase x. These, these two terms that you need to know are standard deviation, which is the average distance of data from the mean, represented by sigma for the population and s for the sample, and the variance, which is the square of the standard deviation, represented by sigma square and by s square. The variance of the population is sigma squared. The variance of the sample is s squared. Now you know all. Please allow me to take this moment again to thank you very much for your support. Again, your patronage keeps my family fed. Have a great day. This is the original TAMUC Dr. Dog signing off.